Hey everybody, it's Ferb Jr. again. I and now I'm going to learn music theory using the Vivachi, the Vivachi app. Can't talk right now, I guess. So let's go to the trainer. Grand staff. I know I was in the grand staff. No, I'm gonna go on to whatever staff this is. I don't even know what staff that is. Clefs. Okay. Clef is a symbol placed on the staff to identify a reference note. Displayed are the three clefs commonly used. Each one covers a specific range of notes. The treble clef is used for high pitched instruments. The solo, the symbol, wraps around the second line to identify our reference note G. Having identified the reference note, we can easily determine the remaining notes in the staff by following the sequence. The space above G is A, the line above A is B, and so on. When going downwards on the staff, we follow the sequence backwards. Remember that we can keep adding notes indefinitely beyond the staff by adding ledger lines. Blah! The bass clef is used for low-pitched instruments. The dots on in the symbol identify the reference note, which is the F in the fourth line. The alto clef is used for mid-range instruments. The reference note is C in the line that passes through the middle of the symbol. This note is also known as the middle C, and it is a very important reference point in general. The tenor clef is basically an alto clef translated one line upward in the staff. The middle C is now in the fourth line, and every other note also gets translated correspondingly. This translation is sometimes used with clefs to better accommodate an instrument's range. So the clefs that I'm most familiar with are the bass and tenor clef because cello uses both of those a lot. And sometimes you get up into the treble clef range with the cello. Okay, for reference, here's, here we show the relationship between all three clefs. The way notes are placed in the staff is universal, but the way you play the notes depends entirely on your musical instrument. As an example, on the left we see each line and space intersecting the corresponding white key on a key piano keyboard. The highlighted key is middle C. Suggested lesson 1 through 5 in trainer. Accidentals. Okay, I'm not going to go into that. So it looks like we're going to do tenor clef. Or not tenor clef, but alto clef. So this one's alto. This one's tenor. There's even more than that, though. In the, in the clef app, you'll see that. If you watch some of my other videos, we'll get to that later. Okay, so we're going to go back to alto. Yeah, well that covers things like the alto sax, and I know people who sing alto, but I'm not one of those people because it's too high. I'm a low tenor or an, a high baritone. Okay, tap here to begin. Let's go back. Lesson one, spaces inside the staff. So we'll probably do five lessons today. G... G, B, D, G, G, B, F, G, G. Awesome. Okay, lesson two inside line, lines inside the staff. Okay, F, A, C, E, G.
Good, I got 100%. Lesson 3, all notes inside the staff. Crap. I'm going to try again. <laughs> I don't remember. F. F. G. B. C. F. G. B. C. F. F. G. A. B. C. D. F A C F G A B C D E F G F G F G A B C D E F G F G A B C D F G A F G A B C D E Okay, I did it, but it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. I'm not very elegant at this. I think it's going to take years of practice before I get really good at all of the clefts. But I'm going to keep trying. D. did it there's an ad coming face bonk or as i like to call it face crap close please okay lesson five all notes up to one ledger line okay Still wasn't pretty, but it's getting better. Alto is kind of weird. I don't see that very often in music because I don't sing alto. And if I did sing alto, it would probably be on the grand staff in a hymn book someplace. Okay, I don't, well, I think I think I've done as much as I can. So I want to thank you again for joining me and supporting me. Who's in the who's in the chat? It says somebody's in the chat. We got another T T V viewer, Casino Thanks. Electric old longboard. Extra Moar. Go with him. Have this too. Industrial Parasite. Let's do this underscore music. MS Lenity. Sad underscore girl and thicker. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate your support. I hope to see you next time. Bye.